Alright, I'm back. It is nighttime. I can come straight down here to my new... My new... I guess this isn't considered a hollow yet. But they are there. So once it is considered hollowed... Then we're in business. So I guess I'll try to do that real quick. I just want this teleport. I need a surface teleport. They need a sky pylon. Add some sky-based NPCs. Back in the day before hard mode. Back in the day before hard mode. All of my bases used to be on a floating island because it was just fun to do. But ever since they added wyverns, it's not been quite a viable option. As one might expect. Still not hollowed enough. I believe it has to do with all the jungle around, but I don't know. Unsure what's gonna happen whenever I terraform this, if it's gonna matter or not. Sorry, bunny. I feel like that pretty solidly covers the entire top of the map for me. There's... Really? So it is right side is two jungle. Looks like it's already working. I don't know if moving that like that worked or if it was because I moved it further left. Probably because I moved it further left if I have to be real. But yeah, I think it's time once I get these wings upgraded. It might be time. To uh, move on. It's pretty exciting to me, honestly. I like this next boss. And I like the... I, guess I like the next two bosses, which I'll pretty much be doing back to back because there's no reason not to. Because 
Because as much as I like hard mode dungeon, it's kind of useless for ranged. There's a couple of good items I can get out of it, but not really that much from there. So I suppose I'll be back whenever I'm ready to fight the next boss. Stripe returning, I guess. I don't know if this is the start or the middle of an episode, but I found it. This is what uh, takes so long to start the next boss is finding one of these bulbs. So I'm not going to immediately start it. I want to set my area up, which I've pre prepped some peace candles and a campfire. I was actually on my way back down to. A little jungle room I have down here for this purpose. Oh, I already have that. Alright, then peace candle and hopefully that should reduce mob spawns enough for me to fight this fucker. Hopefully. I didn't pre-prep the campfire. I was going to grab wood while I was down here and forgot completely. But that's no big deal. Alrighty. Maybe I should make my path down there a little bit easier. It doesn't feel like the uh, peace candles are doing that much. Fine. Monsters usually don't become that much of an issue. <sighs> All right, playing Terra. Glad I went this way. I've had despawning issues with going too far ahead of playing Terra before in the past, so I got to be real careful about it. Nice, easy, slow boss. Awesome. Spit those thorns at you, and then some, after a certain amount of HP, just start spitting the spiky balls. Like with a lot of bosses at 50%. Sure, definitely prematurely said that. Come on, 50%. Hurry up. There we go. Goes in into a, in a rage mode. This would be one of those few situations where I would like a shield. Yeah, Shield of Cthulhu, I mean. Cobalt Shield would also actually be pretty good, but I've pretty much beaten him now. I don't believe he spits anymore in this form. The biggest danger were the little tendrils he sprouted. So now... Boom. Grenade launcher, huh? Did he drop me grenades? Yeah. Screams are echoing from the dungeon. But before we investigate those screams... Why don't we go take a look? This old temple we got here. We only got a key. 
This opens the jungle temple. Why don't we inspect it? Actually, I just remembered I got big need for chlorophyte again. Take that. That's why I cleared out the water here. This place is danger fucking risk. And unfortunately, it appears that I have not brought my wired thing, so. I didn't plan on going any further than that, if I'm being honest, but. I did want to just show it opening. Because. Damn, that room just barely not far enough to go all the way to the right. Maybe I made this place too big. Storage room. Sell all that junk. I'm wondering why. Right, but I have need of the truffle. Because if you remember, glorified bars into shroomite. Teleported back. So if I place the auto hammer down there, grab out the chlorophyte and smelt the bits that I have. I don't think that's enough. But for now, shroomite. Apparently ran out of mushrooms before I ran out of the other. It's not a bad melee. Alright, so I'm doing gun. So I want the hat. Boots. That's about all I can do right now without more mushrooms and chlorified at that. But I'm going to go farm out some more pirate maps. Because I want the rest of those... Uh, I need a single item from it left for my money item. Blood moons are good for farming these out. And since I have this very nice hollowed teleporter. Okay, maybe it's not so nice just because of the damn trees in the way. But yeah, now with the... Uh, Now with Plantera dead, I have a new set of things to show off in the... Fuck, why can't I use my train of thought? I have a new set of things to show off in Solar Eclipse. And then on top of that now, the dungeon's got some new things and I've got the Lizard Temple. And then there's also... A two new wave event things that I didn't even show off that I could have had done ages ago. Man, I'm mad at myself. Oh, I'm double mad at myself. Why do I keep thinking floor three is my... I gotta remember that I don't need to be directly next to the crystal. I also realized earlier that the reason why I couldn't see that I was a werewolf was because I didn't have the cosmetics thing on. I suppose I could have done it at the other ocean. I don't know why I'm so fixated on using this one. But 
But now I'm able to just sit underwater and let my minions do their thing. Well, I thought I was going to have more time to go over, uh, or to farm stuff. But immediately a solar eclipse is happening. I suppose I could just farm all this stuff down in the ocean still. Run. This doesn't work in daytime, right? It's a deadly sphere. Moth run sucks. Babies, it just threw its child in the death pit. Oh. Would have been a nice yo yo to have if I were melee. Wait, I need that, but it's daytime. Kind of strong. I don't have any means to reload this though if I run out. I never got the NPC and I'm not going to get it tonight because it's a solar eclipse. Another one, by the way, that was back to back. Susie's kind of inaccurate. I still need a few items from Mothron. I forgot that I could drop the yo-yo, but I still need, like... can be used for the super melee weapon up to this point. Oh! It's got dunked by the fucking manfly. He drops a cool magic weapon too, but I don't use it that much at this point in time. Because there's just better. Chant, but <laughs> it's a bad enchant, however, it's a pretty good weapon, and it, I think it's a good weapon at least. I remember it being one. Could very well end up replacing my Can I only have one out? I guess it won't replace my spider. I 
I don't understand. Why was it only giving me one before? Oh, death sickle. Neat. It's a melee weapon, shoots projectiles. That's about all I have to say about it. Mothron babies suck. from it? Why? I'm like not equipped to be ranged at all. And I've really not gone out of my way to make it so that I could be. That's the thing, besides the Ranger Emblem, I don't really know what gun accessories there are. Like, there's a plenty of bow ones. Like, there's the Magic Quiver. Clothes gonna get owned. I'm gonna let the Mothron baby spawn just so I can get it in the bestiary. Well, that was the reason. Whether or not I actually was able to is another question. I think I might actually have one in my piggy bank, or my safe. Why is this thing dropping paintings? <laughs> It's a baby moth run. Well, there's the magic weapon. I hate these enemies that go through walls, and then they pretty much made every enemy go through walls from here on out. And th th that's why I start to really fall off on liking Terraria. They just make all the enemies annoying.
thing's kind of nuts. Can I get these wings, please? There's wings that I'm supposed to be able to get from a Mothron. If you'd ever want to fucking drop it. Don't make my statement on there's better magic weapons knock you from using the chemist flask. It's still a really strong valid weapon. Can I get some banners? Can a homie get some banners? Anyone got some banners? Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh. The Reaper banner is like the best one that I could have gotten out of all of those. Fuck these things with a fiery burning passion. Wings on all three now? Yeah. Savit. These deadly spheres could be so much cooler if they didn't constantly get stuck in buildings that they somehow shouldn't. I, I don't know how. Shouldn't have. I like how ranged feels early game, but I don't know. Like I said, I don't really know how to build it. Back when Clockwork Assault Rifle was like one of the best, whenever it was just the mechanicals before Plantera, range was pretty alright. Also, I think the range resemble was the only thing that I knew existed. 